Look at the sun! So I am off to class. It's 9.30, a little later than I want it to be, but I've got, had a lot to think about to pack today, so um, it took me a lot longer to get out of the house. Doing a ballet then, I think me and Eric are going to try and go to Siggy's for lunch if there's time. And then going to the studio where he's teaching. I have some laser sessions for Starship. And then Eric's teaching. And then I have an event tonight. So that was a long train ride because there was delays for some reason. But while I was on the train before I ran out of battery on my phone, I was just writing the email that I'm sending out today connected to the what would you tell your 13 year old self video and I just went really deep into just like we can time travel you know I do it all the time it's kind of normal in my sessions I'm constantly you know working with people and we're going back to different moments in our lives and you know, helping our bodies to process the emotions that were there and literally changing the past that then ripples and changes the now and the future. And just how powerful that this ability is. So, you know, whether or not you're in Holy Shift or getting sessions, you can go back and have a chat with yourself. It's like you exist. It's real. It's so they got in a snowstorm and like that. You, they know about the snowstorm because they've been telling it. Is that what you, the no, rib have hurt? A joke. I have a good Wait, joke. is it rib from when you no. guys tell us? You know what my good joke is? What? Know. What? My joke is you should really stop behavior that is causing you pain, right? Especially if you're aware of it. In that, ca in my case, that would be breathing. That was my joke. <laughs> I made that joke. I know you did. <laughs> you stole it off me. But I taught it very nicely. You taught it. No, I, I said oh, it. Just now. You did. Eric says stuff, and I remember it. It's amazing. So after that thirteen-year-old self video, and I was talking about like, don't worry about learning stuff. Eric is a totally different case because I just remember it. Yes, it's yeah. amazing. We're also going back to Australia in two Oh years. my god, I want to go! <laughs> I knew she would answer that. So, I can um, just say all the places I want to go. I love, I like Sydney, honestly. That's the thing. I do like Sydney. It means never having to say, I'm sorry my cute little trophy fell on the baby again. What? Do you get that? Yeah, it's... it's oysters? Yeah. There's oysters, don't... The oysters sort of filter that they're out. Filters, they're filters. They yeah. don't, but they don't filter it and keep it, they keep yeah. it out of their system. Yeah. So it's very, uh, you don't like to talk about it. We're just having a bit of a food tour. We're going to, do you want to tell everyone where we go? Sure. Tonight we're going to um, Mark Hyman, who is a medical doctor and proponent of preventative health care is just um, wrote a book and so there is the book launch party tonight at ABC. I went to this book launch party like a year ago. Yeah. So this must be another book. Yeah, the Ted Baby thing. So that will be pretty interesting but I was just telling Laura and Eric that I finished the Food Babe Way book yesterday which was the book party that we went to just a couple weeks ago. And um, it was really interesting. And one thing that was very interesting was at the very end of the book, Bonnie includes an appendix of all of the corporations and companies that have donated money into anti-GMO labeling, meaning that they are fighting for massively that uh, you know citizens and just Americans don't know whether there's GMOs in their food or not. And it was like some crazy number, like hundred billion dollars I mean just crazy one zero 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 thing of like how much money corporations are pouring in so yeah all that being said we're gonna shift things in another way but always factor great listen to your teaching you just are great you don't have to factor it in you're just a great teacher I have a brain in my bag oh you do you got the brain 
Oh, yeah. Right, we got any family members. Yeah, it's spare brain. Absolutely. <laughs> ah, so, we've got fregos all around. All around. Yum. So, meta memory is your belief or trust in being able to remember something or not remember something. So, Laura, do you remember the functions? How high is your trust to remember the functions of the thyroid? You say high, middle, or low? Detail? Well, you I would my be, trust I in remembering what Eric says is high. My trust in remembering what I read or from someone else is low. But that's meta memory, right? Not just to your job, but to your posture, movement, thinking, not thinking, emoting, and imaging it like that, yeah? If I say, you know, New York is down, you all can kind of see it, right? You can, who can imagine themselves walking over to the subway or Union Square or to the, you know, you can all do that because the brain is constructing it like a video game. But it doesn't really exist necessarily. That's swoopy, right? That needs absolutely swoopy. And we know this because people can lose the capacity to do that. So the first thing, and this of course is heavy ammunition for what we talk about in the Franco method. So if it's a construction, you can reconstruct. You can alter the construction, right? Which literally starts you on a different path. How cool is that? That's the whole thing with imagery, right? There are, cert there are certain constructions that your mind can make that are more useful for your life than other ways of seeing how it is, yeah? So, ah, it's raining. New York City is kind of gross. I mean, I'm happy it's not freezing cold, but it's kind of gross. So anyway, Eric was amazing teaching today and uh, yeah, I didn't film very much after I showed you lunch really briefly because um, then I had to run back to do sessions and then I was in class while I was teaching and now I am off to ABC Carpet becoming a regular outing um, for this event with Mark Hyman tonight so I will of course take you along, but I just wanted to update you. So I feel like I haven't told you very much today. So that's where we're going. And New York is like icky and bleh. And look where we are. All the cool stuff. Beep. I'm just waiting for Jess and wondering whether I should go up without her. She said she's nearly here, but... What does that mean, Jess? How nearly is nearly? Special shopper! This is so cool! And the magic ones are so cute! Okay, I think I'm gonna go up. And, you know, I talk a lot about this at home with regard to manufacturing. I mean, go through the whole industrial Midwest and it's been wiped out. Uh, we've lost a ton of manufacturing jobs because the same thing has happened. You know, we're uh, not necessarily with food, but we're trying to, we have higher labor standards here, higher envir environmental standards here, and yet we're competing with countries who don't have either sometimes, even child labor and all the rest, and it's a totally an unfair playing field. So I know how you can get locked into these global trade agreements and it'd be detrimental to many constituencies. The same companies that, that uh, Bonnie's dealing with or the, in the ag business are the same ones. So that event was eventful. Yes, we will fill you in. Look at these crystals though. So, we are currently exiting Mark Hyman's book thingy for this book, yes. 1080 Talks. It was eight. Um, 
that means that was right. all right in my little slangy slingy. Yeah. But it's so cool because like there was a couple of moments tonight which were interesting interactions where Laura was connecting with people where in my perspective now we're leaving. Keep going. Okay, we're leaving. Um, here's your headphones and stuff. Where in my perspective I know, like even for me meeting Laura, like there were so many clues and moments of for a full year pretty much before we like officially connected and stuff that's just kind of like setting up the dots and I can feel tonight just like the dots of Laura connecting with Mark um, Mark Hyman and connecting with Bonnie and Babe who came here a couple weeks ago to for her book launch and the people who run ABC Home and the events that we're going to have here in the future totally I believe totally feeling that um it's really pretty incredible, like totally pretty incredible of just like dot one meeting Amy and where in the future that will lead, who knows, but like just the brilliance of the first interactions. I've given multiple downloads, it feels at this point about um, the current issues that exist and how this work is just a totally different way and I feel like it's just so interesting for me because in my college education, yeah, undergraduate yeah. career, you're about to close that too. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I have no problem. Okay. I have one in my bag too. But um, I studied public health and I went to school in Washington, D.C., which is where all policy happens and studied, oh, we're good, studied nutrition and um, government policy and like all this stuff which is exactly what these guys are talking about here and I remember me feeling pretty much after about eight months of working in the system realizing this isn't the way yes it's important and it's amazing cool and whatever it's definitely a piece right now of, otherwise it wouldn't exist but um hey so I am now home and the memory card ran out of Face. So that's why Jessica might have ended a little abruptly there, or I might have edited it, I'm not quite sure. Um, but that is why. And basically, we had lots of downloads and lots of connections, and yeah, just really, really happy to be doing what I'm doing and sharing this work with you. And you are a very special group of people on the forefront of, you know, really, really advanced shifts. So we are changing the world. It does start with you and you matter. And thank you for being here. And we will continue this story tomorrow. I feel like I haven't really given many downloads today. I've had lots, but there hasn't really, I haven't had a whole lot of time because I was running from ballet to lunch to sessions to Eric to event to uh, fill you in and it was raining which adds an extra challenge when you have a camera and way too much stuff to carry so um, but I think I don't know I want to see when I ended this vlog what happened today and interesting I was thinking about that today Eric was talking about the brain and how you know the brain is just a device that basically constructs the future you know we imagine into the future based on the past and and is interpreting our life experience but it's the it's all happening within our brains you know it's like we see maybe 10 percent and the rest is constructed in our brain and how you know memory is so subjective and we remember aspects or how we want it to be and I just was like, oh, thank goodness for the vlogs again, you know? It's like, get to relive it in such a way that is so magical and so real. And it was like, yeah, I mean, obviously, that will still be subjective too, but it's kind of captured these moments in a way that just wouldn't be, I don't know, they'd just be gone. Or they'd be somewhere in memory, you know? So... It's nice to have them all vlogged and shared, so thank you. Ah, oh, again. So, um, give this video a thumbs up and um, show it some love and 
share me your insights or any bits from today in the comments as you always do so thank you and um, I'll see you tomorrow and if you're not subscribed to me why not click that subscribe button so that you can see tomorrow's video night night